All right, everybody, welcome to another cartoon drawing tutorial. And today we're going to be drawing a request from you guys, actually. And it is first prize from Baldi's Education and Learning. All right. So, as always, when you get your three P's out, your paper, your pen, and your pencil. Of course, have an eraser as well, because we're going to need it, I think. <laughs> or at least I'm going to need it. So we're going to start off with our pencils. And we're going to turn our papers landscape or sideways. And we're going to just start off with some circles. Let's go ahead and go up here to the uh, upper part of the page. And we're just going to start with a nice circle. And of course, as you see, I always do a lot of little circles first. And then I just kind of outline the one I like the best. Looks a little messy, but you know, it works. All right, let's do a triangle. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line right underneath this circle like that. Just one line. Oh my goodness, I should have done this before, but we're gonna do it now. The secret that we do on this channel, you guys all know what it is. The magic T, and we're just going to draw that magic T right in the center of this circle, just like that. So once <laughs> once you have your magic T on here, <laughs> we're going to make his eyes. Let's just let's just go for his face. Let's make a nice big rectangle right here. We're going to do two circles, one circle on each side of the rectangle, like that. And then we're going to do a smaller circle. On the inside, on this one, it's, he's going to be, it's going to be more up in the corner here, and the other one is going to be up like that. Then we're going to do another rectangle down here. Looks like a robot, and then um, he's got sort of a lip or something that kind of falls down here. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a slanty line like that. And then we're going to make a sideways rectangle here, like that. And then we're going to put this line all the way down there. All right, so we got his face. We got his face. <laughs> He's a strange looking character for sure. Um, of course, tell me in the comments below what you want me to draw next, and we will do that next. But right now we're doing first prize. Okay. So, once we have this long uh, line right here, we're going to make this into a very thin rectangle, like that. So, let's see where the side of his head is. That's kind of where you want to end your rectangle. So, okay. So now you have your long rectangle. Now you can add in your big circles, like that. And then we're going to do five small circles, four on the top of each one of these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do one big circle, and that's gonna be almost right there on the on the barbell, like that. All right, so now we have our hands. We're going to go straight up to the magic T from each side of the rectangle. And we're gonna make one line and a second line, a parallel line. So they're both gonna shoot straight up to the middle of his mouth. Boy, he's a strange dude. Okay. So now we're going to just make, from the side of this rectangle, we're just gonna make a square, a nice big square. Just like that, and then on the side of each one of these, we're gonna make smaller squares. Really squares, yeah. Okay. And you can see, I didn't start, you actually, you know, if you wanted to take that bottom of the square, that the big one that we made, 
and make into a small, thin rectangle like we did above. And then these squares are a little bit higher above that. So it's, <laughs> as wonky as this character is, he's got some... Here, I'll just make that... Pretty that up a little bit. He's got... There's some uh, logic to him a little bit, I guess. All right. So we're almost done with him, actually. So now all we're going to do is from... Uh, these little circles that we made, we're gonna just make these into thin rectangles by making an extra line, another parallel line. Parallel lines are two lines that go across the same path but never touch. There we go. Now we're gonna make a giant big heart in the middle of there. And uh, if you're not good at making hearts, let's figure a way to do this. Um, okay, so if you're not good at making hearts, try this. Circle, two big circles, like that, together, like they're kissing, which works good for hearts. And then uh, you're just going to make a triangle underneath it, from the side of each of the circles. See? It's a heart. Okay, I think we're almost done here. And um, we're 10 minutes in, we're almost done. Woo, this is a kind of an easier character then. Okay, so he's got a big bar that goes from this side all the way up here. So a big slanty line, and then another parallel line. So we're just making more of the slanty bar thing that he's got. And I'm going to erase everything in the middle there. And then he's got some, I guess, wires. <laughs> One's going from the lip down to the heart, like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a curved line. That's gonna be our, our wire. And we're gonna do a parallel line, real thin. And then we're just gonna do a little curved lines on each side. Then we're going to erase what was in that bar. Let's see, so we're gonna do another curvy line. And this one's going to start right below the big slanty bar and just goes right back up to the heart like that. Same thing. Parallel line, little curvies at the end, and then uh, erase anything inside the bar. And then we have one more. Uh, looks like it goes from here. The curve is like a little, I'm not sure like an S or a, a snake, just draw a snake. <laughs> draw a snake from the heart all the way up to his head. And do two parallel lines, a little curvy at the end. And again, if there's anything inside a bar, just erase it like that. There he is, first prize is done. So now what we wanna do is we wanna ink these in and color them up. And I am going to ink these with you so let's find, let's get our pens out. We're only gonna ink in the lines that you wanna keep. And what I like to do is I like to ink in the things that are in front first. So the things that are the most in front are his big circle fingers and thumb. So we're gonna do those first. All right, so, oh, I noticed I missed one of the bars. So hold on, hold on. I didn't even see these. So from here, from this corner, we're gonna draw just one little slanty line like that, and then a parallel line. So he's got a little slanty bar in there. He's actually got one that goes behind, but my heart is kind of blocking that. So uh, I think I'm gonna go right here and just draw two little lines, two little lines. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> didn't see them before. First prize fans are like, oh my goodness, how dare he? All right. Now let's go ahead and get this guy inked in. All 
Now, if you want to get fancy with his wheels, we can get fancy for a second here. I'm going to draw a line across like this on both sides. And then um, I'm going to draw another line up here. I'll show you a little trick. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just draw little lines like this. All right, now watch what happens when we ink in the rest of these wheels. It looks like he's got a little shine to his wheels now. It's a little trick. All right. Well, um, so <laughs> there he is. Now you notice I put a little white space in his eyes like um it gives it a little shines a little three-dimensional thing now this character doesn't really have that but um i just took a took a little i <laughs> took my own thing on this one it, which you guys can do too you guys can go crazy with this so ink these in color them up um remember we need to erase all the lines never ink in the magic tea never do it remember to send your finished drawings to our Facebook page so we can post them up or just send them to me and we'll put them in our at end of the year video. Now, I don't see any comments below. So we're going to pick from our post co previous comments and uh, let's see what we end up drawing next. A crocodile from the wild. <laughs> okay, crocodile, didn't we draw that? Or is that an alligator? Okay, crocodile from the wild crats, it is. So uh, next time <laughs> we will be doing a crocodile from the wild crats, which is going to be a very interesting live because those are always complex drawings. And uh, it'll be fun. So join me next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave nice comments because I like nice ones. <laughs> and I will see you guys at the next one. Keep on drawing. The more you do, the better you will get. But for now, peace. You want to draw more? Well, we got more videos for you to watch. Check out any of these and please share this with all your friends. Let's get more people drawing. The more you draw, the better you get. All right, see you at the next video.